Hey guys, welcome to the session on Coffee with Prab. And today we have a special guest, Mr. Bharat. Bharat is basically leading a SOC in Aspirin Technologies and InfoSec Train, and he basically handling a team of more than twenty people. Bharat role is basically involved in building the SOC, managing a SOC, hiring a people for the SOC division in Aspirins and InfoSec Train. And today's session, we are going to have a small mock interview session of the SOC because I have we have received lot of DM on the on the you can say on social media or emails and all that up can we have a one mock session on sock so i thought let me disturb my manager mr bharat to take out the time from his busy schedule for this particular session thank you bharat for coming out for this session hi prab hi everyone thank you thank you for inviting me so bharat is basically having a 15 plus year of experience in the sock and he basically handle all the end to end troubleshootings and everything in the sock so so bharat how's your journey so far in in sock Yeah, absolutely. So I'll just start by uh, giving a brief about myself so that everyone can know about myself. So I started with a uh, red team as an offensive player into this information security field where I started doing vulnerability assessment, penetration testing. Then I went into the networks. Then I went into the web applications, mobile applications. Then I considered myself that. this is something which i already have hopped into now let's basically have a challenge on the defensive side that is the other side so that is what brought me into the field of soc where i did explore multiple different services of soc in, starting from incident response digital forensics threat intelligence threat hunting and so on it is a very vast field and yet i am exploring that's 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 really great that's really great so before going to start today's session you know like you know this is a mock interview team where i will be the interviewer on the safer side and uh, mr bharat will be a candidate and with this particular session we would like to give a idea about how to handle the soc interview sessions okay how to handle the soc interview so bharat can you could you, could you tell me about what is soc you know uh, what is all about soc and all that so it give a brief idea to our subscribers absolutely so soc first of all stands for security operation center hmm. uh, last to last year basically there was a survey online where uh, the same question was been asked that what is soc and hmm. uh, in that survey there were two different options where people have to choose that whether it's a department like every other department in the organization like sales marketing or something like that it's a software and we will be curious to know that most of the people have selected uh, absolutely since it's a department they have selected department but yes 37% of the people have also selected that it's a software so oh. to clear this misconception out up over here uh, i would like to explain a bit more about soc so soc stands for security operation center just like every other department in our organization soc is a department where all the teams from security basically sit together 24/7 uh 24 by 7 they do work together uh they do monitoring for what reason for detection of our threats which are in real time and doing the analysis of the same in real time so that those can be mitigated on time so uh, just not need to understand uh, like normal team what happen is guys uh, whenever the interview start it is always start with your cv and uh, it is always start with your introduction so Uh, here like you know i am going to ask the same question to the bharat so bharat like you know uh, could you please explain me about yourself who is bharat and you know and how did you creating a value for our organization because it's a common question which is asked in the interview so bharat what is suggestion how you want to answer this question so it can be useful for the people absolutely so taking about uh, the side and the profile and the roles in soc there are very various different different roles in soc and if i would like to explain myself i am working as a sme blue team at infosec train and aspirins technologies where i am heading a team uh, of uh, 20 i guess more than 20 people yes. where yes. we are basically working together 24/7 into uh, uh 24 into 7 where we are working on threats we are basically helping our clients for various different soc consultancies soc services like incident mm-hmm. response digital mm-hmm. forensics and uh threat intelligence where we are aiding them the quest of their open source intelligence gathering as well mm-hmm. and their proactive measures like threat hunting as well so why you are looking for a change <laughs> Hey team, one thing I want to tell you something here. This is the common question which is asked in the interview. Like you know, when you have such kind of a profile, why are you looking for a change? So here in this kind of a question, the interviewer want to know your loyalty, your principles, your passion toward your job. So Mr. Bharat, why are you looking for a change? Absolutely. 
I I believe I just forget to mention it in starting that I had a habit of exploring things and hmm. habit of exploring things basically brought brought me to this particular interview where I am basically looking for a change from what I am doing since okay. uh, basically being static is not something which is my kind of style so I want to explore new things new dynamics I want to explore into the uh, different sets of different segments of the organization so hmm. that is one of the major key points which brought me to this particular change great if you notice team here you know bharat has given a very diplomatic answer okay you should not say like okay i'm um, looking for the salary hike or i'm looking for some kind of a things because it it give the some kind of a negative impression among the candidate uh, to the interviewer that okay ha huh, he is more from money perspective and all that make sure you should be very positive about your current company and you also setting a great expectation about what is the aspiration toward the future company correct me if i'm wrong bharat sir absolutely yes 100% great. agree so and i think any interview basically start with the, after this they ask about some technical questions so i think the first common question they ask is what is sock and what do you understand from a sock so could you please help me out in a one minute absolutely so as we already discussed that sock basically stands for security operation center so you can consider it as a department where mm. all the security teams are working together we are mm. collecting data from everywhere within our infrastructure and mm. we are looking for the threats in real time and okay. we are analyzing those threats responding to those threats and everything mm. happens in real time so the question is basically you know uh, when it come to sock we use one word called incident 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 so what is the difference between the incident and how it is different from event absolutely and this is where most of the people generally get confused as well so See, one more important thing uh, why i ask this question because it is a common question which is asked in the interview and here the interviewer want to know whether you know the concepts the basic concepts okay yes mr bharat sir go ahead absolutely so events and incidents there are two different things and generally in sock 99% of the time you will be dealing with either of them hmm. so let's basically understand first of all event and then i'll try to explain incident then let's differentiate it uh, differentiate okay. between it okay so event let's say i open a door to enter my house so that's mm. an event okay and uh, if i do basically the same uh, if someone else is doing who is not authorized to enter my house is trying to opening the uh, trying to open the door and he is successful in that that mm. particular thing basically can be considered as incident so okay. event is basically a normal change in your day to day operations of your network system infrastructure and on other hand incident will be basically an adverse event hmm. that will affect the security of your organization so so we can say like that any activity which is used to impact, meet the business objective that is a event and if thing goes against the event that is called as a incident can we say like that absolutely yes okay and even uh every incident basically is been uh, at a very first point look like an event itself so basically incident does uh, goes further and it basically evolves into an uh, incident event mm. goes further and evolves into an incident so we have so to be careful so so we can say like that not every uh, event is an incident but every incident is a event absolutely yes great great so uh, you know in sock we have a one requirement called about sim s i e m So, what do you think? What is the important contribution of SIM in the industry? Why SIM is important for an organization, and why how why, how it is important uh, for the enterprise? Absolutely. So, if people over here who are listening to us, uh, since if you might have worked into two different companies into two different talk, you might have seen that both of those talks will be different, right? Every talk. Uh, in every different company will be different, meeting their own cyber security needs and objectives, but if i do talk about one common point which will which every sock will be having that is basically a sim solution so siem or people generally do call it sim uh, it's a deployment it's a solution which has been uh, taken in consideration into the organization to meet to meet the objective of central logging so generally okay. we do have logs uh, being created in every endpoint every device mm. and it basically sometimes get overwhelmed uh, mm. with those chunks of logs which are being generated at every point of time in every device okay and not every analyst basically can be uh, can be set it through and can go through all those particular logs so that's why we do have sim in place which basically collects all the data all the logs all the activities from everywhere to a one centralized location which gives us a consolidated view of our entire infrastructure into one window that's where sim basically comes into the picture so when sim is already doing a automation task why we need you in the company 
so sim basically can help us to collect the data to and uh, to basically view the data in the consolidated view it will okay. be us analyst yeah. who will be sitting on that particular data and will be analyzing it okay so uh, you know when you're dealing with the incidents and all that you know we we term around cia so what do you, what do you understand from cia the reason why we asking this question because uh, information sec- so- sock is a part of a information security element and, and as a as a, as a as a sock professional you should be familiar with us uh, with the information uh, cia tried so that is why the interviewer normally asks this basic question so mr bharat sir what is cia and how how are you interpreting cia from a sock point of view absolutely so if someone has to come and tell that how security started it all started with cia so Here you have seen how the bharat has basically started a point you can see the confidence level okay it shows you know his experience no matter even you have a one year of experience the way you basically presenting this kind of a term it's play a very important role in the interview yeah sorry sorry to interrupt bharat yeah absolutely. go ahead please no problem so as as i mentioned that cia basically these are the elements of the security or the pillars of the security how security basically came into the place we can say that it came it with the help of cia cia stands for confidentiality integrity and availability so these are the basic essence of security if someone has to secure they have to basically cover cia at least so confidentiality up or here basically uh, is something let's say i want to talk uh talk to prab one on one which is confidential so i can give him a call and i can basically mention him all the particular details and i'll make sure that my call is basically end to end encrypted so that no one else listens to that particular conversation so that is basically uh, an example of confidentiality when i do not want anyone to basic anyone unauthorized to basically get hands on to that particular information that's where confidentiality is been achieved okay and next we do have is integrity integrity as we all do know that sometimes it is a slang to be said that maintain some integrity that means uh, we have to basically always be in such a way that we do not basically gets break into yeah. so let's say there is some data uh, which uh, you are downloading uh, let's say you are downloading an image mm-hmm. or a movie online now mm-hmm. how would you basically ensure that that movie is basically is not containing a virus okay so we do have basically integrity into the place which can help us to check the authenticity of that particular data which we are downloading from internet so integrity is one part which is helping us to uh, verify whether our data is tamper proof or not and the and verify the person whether is lying or not absolutely and very basic integrity basically is been provided by hashing oh that's great and what is availability what do you understand from availability absolutely now let's say i want to use a uh, linkedin at 3 am in the midnight so mm. it should not be like that i am not able to use linkedin because it's 3 am in the midnight data mm. which i want to use and when i want to use and should be available for me all the time right okay if i am a authorized person so data should be available to me all the time so that's what the concept of availability is wow that's great thanks thanks for answering this question bharat so uh, normally when you're talking about in a sock or when you're talking about the overall incidents and events we use one more term which is called as a vulnerability and threat so what do you understand from the concept of this vulnerability and threat again uh, this is basically a very simple concept which basically uh, people again get confused with because these are closely related to each other but not are not same so if i do talk about vulnerability that's a loophole or a flaw mm. in mm. your systems mm. right let's say you do have an unpatched version of uh, java script mm. so that that is basically a vulnerability within your system and if i do basically do talk about threat so threat is basically a uh, you can say anything which can be uh, bring uh, damage to your organization or anyone who does have the potential to damage your organization is a threat okay. to your organization example hacker is a threat for our organization absolutely it can be a person it can be a group of people so anyone who brings threat to your organization or anyone who brings a uh, damage to your organization is a threat to your organization so it's like relatives bring proposal for the marriage to spoil your life <laughs> yeah absolutely that can be a threat <laughs> sorry team is just part of a session or no, just okay so uh, when you're talking about the threats parts and all that you know uh, one more important thing which is basically uh, we talk about lot is uh, soc rule book soc uh, i think soc run book and rule book we called so what is that because it's a very common gimmick word which is used in today's life so what is soc run book absolutely and 
when you are giving the interview your interview interviewer is going to ask you the questions that you know what is run book how to create run books so this particular question is one of my favorite ones and i would like to answer this particular question uh sock run books generally we do call them sock run books or playbooks so these are basically some conditions or sets of conditions which we do use whenever whenever a particular uh, situation or a condition is basically being triggered for hmm. example let's say there is a ip address which basically does have a reputation that it's a malicious so hmm. what i can do is i can create a set of conditions which will first of all take that ip address check mm. that ip address reputation mm. whether it's malicious or not and mm. based upon my percentage parameter it can verify from mm. my threat intel platform and then it can automatically add it to the whitelist or blacklist okay so this entire set of automation is basically known as runbook so where we set this so generally these run books are being set in your platforms like edr sim solutions your okay. security orchestration automation response platforms uh. in these places so what is the best practices to maintain the run book so the best practices to maintain the run books is first of all identify your uh, task which is repetitive right mm. in order to save some time identify your task which is repetitive then basically understand that what is the problem statement then basically create a logic and mm. then basically create a run book for the same it will be helping you as a soc analyst to basically do the work mm. which is repetitive and then you mm. can focus on some major issues within your organization okay so how to optimize the resources with soc run book like will it be any useful like uh, do we have any kind of a parameter by which we can optimize the soc run book absolutely fine tuning in sock is everywhere so mm. we basically first of all create something then we do view how data is acting upon that particular mm. uh, run book and then we do fine tune those particular run books so if i do basically tell that how to optimize these we do have threat intel available we do have incident response available within our organization which can help us to fine tune and optimize our run books great great so this is all from our side team uh, the first part of the sock interview okay and we will also have a second part of the sock interview where we have again bharat uh, for this session and if you still not subscribe to our channel do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss our the second part the second part of this video okay so and make sure you can also suggest your come put your comments uh, in the video box to just give us idea about what are the further question we should ask the interviewer oh, sorry to be asked to the candidate and do let me know how do you find this particular video and do let us know do you want more videos like that on the other vertical fields okay like pen testing cloud security and all that thank you thank you bharat for this particular precious time you have taken out for this particular activity It was great having session with you prop thank you thank you everyone